This is a great uh, day for ISRO and uh, India and also mankind. What we have really achieved is, uh, in a sense, if you say, unbelievable. And uh, when I say unbelievable, I mean that with the kind of budget what we have, with the kind of other commitments what we have, and, uh, and that too after a failure, and that failure has put us into great difficulty, and then we are achieving this. So, this is, in that sense, it is unbelievable. But it is believable because everyone in Israel knows that it is achievable and they have achieved it. And how they achieved it is a simple matter that every failure of Chandrayaan 2 was addressed to. Every failure. Let it be a software problem, let it be a stability problem, let it be a redundancy problem, let it be additional requirement problem, all are addressed to. And all were rectified. And the failure of Chandrayaan 2 was made use of in favor of Chandra in 3. In other words, we have used that failure in our favor. That's how we eliminated an orbiter and then we added some weight to the lander. In that sense, you have really done a wonderful job and in the process, we were confident before the launch itself, it will be a success. And it was a success. So, thank you so much and congratulations to all. What the changes in India's population and the differential growth rate rationales about why it's not ending? What's your rationale? We have a very special he guest on the record. The interview. The role that the uh, US side played at that point of time. Puri dunya ki nazar. Zoom, my phone is tapped. I can probably say hello to Mr. Modi. Aapke Bharat par hai. Pakistan has a unique negotiating the style. The rising confidence of India and the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Communist China is the greatest threat. There will come a day that we will see far more radical extremists. I'm, uh, I'm still a little perplexed by why we have... Your daily dose of news from India and across the world. Cutting edge views and analysis. Tune into HD videos. Click on the bell icon to subscribe.